Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I'm really humbled uh, to follow the list of speakers that we've heard from. Uh, I'm not in their same league. And so I come here to, to talk about something slightly differently. Um, I spent most of my life, uh, my career uh, as a political analyst, as a commentator, and looking at domestic American politics. And so I want to talk for a minute about that and how it relates to this issue. We have seen, unfortunately, I think in recent years, um, a growing movement of isolationism in the United States with people, Americans, saying to themselves, well, you know, there are all these conflicts over there and, you know, I'm being asked to have my tax dollars be spent to send to help the Ukrainians fight against the Russians. Now we're going to be sending more money uh, to Israel to help them fight in Hamas. Why does it matter to me? I'm an American. Why should I care about any of these issues? Well, I'm here to tell you that when it comes to Iran, Iran has declared war on America. Iran says death to America. And by the way, now when we see some of the protests in support of Hamas around the world, what are they shouting? They're shouting death to America in those streets as well. And even as we've been very focused on what's happened uh, in Israel uh, and very focused on the impending uh, incursion uh, into Gaza, as Senator Shaheen mentioned, there have been two dozen Americans who have been injured in attack uh, in uh, western uh, Iraq and in Iraqi Kurdistan, attacks by a group called the Islamic resistance of Iraq. Nobody knows what this organization is because it is a new organization that is really just an arm of the Quds Force and is really an arm of the Iranian regime. And they are attacking and trying to kill Americans. So that's why it matters and should matter to Americans. And the question is, what do we do about it? Well, the president has sent uh, two aircraft carrier strike force uh, to the region. Uh, so we are going to be equipped to be able to uh, fight if we have to, uh, if we have to directly uh, fight. We are, in fact, uh, this Senate uh, is taking up, and now that finally there is a Speaker of the House of Representatives, hopefully the House will be taking up too, aid uh, to try to help uh, in the war in Ukraine and uh, the war uh, against Hamas. So we are getting involved in that way. But frankly, there is another way that America has always been involved in these kinds of fights, these resistance to uh, totalitarianism, resistance to the oppression of peoples around the world. I come... Um, from a, a long background of having been involved for many years in supporting dissidents in various freedom movements around the world. And one of my fondest memory is walking down Pennsylvania Avenue uh, back when the labor movement was supporting Solidarność, which was the movement uh, in support of freedom for the Polish people. And this is one of the ways that Americans can get involved in supporting, not just through giving aid to governments, not the, just through sending arms to those who are fighting against oppression, but in supporting democratic movements around the world. And so one of the things that I think is important for this organization and your involvement is to try to get more support for the resistance to the regime in Iran, and to try to get Americans to understand that there are alternatives, that the Iranian people are not just sitting there and applauding Ali Khamenei, that they are not just there supporting the theocratic government uh, in Iran. They are, in fact, putting up resistance, and it's been going on now for decades. I mean, we have had mass resistance movements in 2009, 2019, last year. Uh, people are taking to the streets. 
And many of the people in this room have been involved in that kind of resistance on an organized fashion in the Iranian diaspora around the world. And that is what is so important about the NCRI and what you are involved in. Because the real way to end what we have seen in these kinds of fights that present a real threat to us here in the United States, not just in other places around the world, not just to people in, uh, in Ukraine who are being killed by Iranian drones, not just to those people uh, in uh, Israel who were killed over the last few weeks uh, because of Hamas and their Iranian help. But there are people who are fighting that in Iran. And I think it's important to understand that until we are able to get broader acceptance and acknowledgement of the kind of things that you are doing, that Madame Rajabi is doing, and that the NCRI is doing around the world to try to get support for the people of Iran so that they too can rise up. There is, I think, a real important mission, and that is a mission to educate, a mission to spread the word, to get people to understand what is going on and why it is not just fighting for the people of Iran, which is a, a good and noble cause, and we should be doing that more directly. We should be giving support to those people who are taking to the streets uh, in Iran. And too often, we have turned our back. I mean, I remember some of the scenes of, of the 2009 uprising when there were people in the streets uh, in Iran with signs in English asking for help. And unfortunately, I think we turned our back and we didn't do uh, what was necessary to help. So one of the things that I think you should be involved in in doing is try to educate in your own community what this resistance is, to try to tell your fellow American citizens why it is that it is in their interest, not just in the interest of people who may share the same religious and ethnic background, but in America's interest to fight for freedom. Because we'll only know peace in the world when in fact the people of Iran are able to be able to vote for themselves to be able to pick their own leadership and to turn out the vicious rulers who have ruled that country now since 1979. Thank you very much.